Hello Reapers, my name is Seth and we are back again for another Trove to Trove Chaos Chess video. Sorry this video is out a little bit late. Uh, I do actually have a post on my community tab on my YouTube channel that is explaining what ended up happening, but pretty much I ended up just taking a day off. I'm trying not to burn myself out on all the Trove stuff because Trove Heroes is right around the corner, right? So anyways, brum 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 brum, you're gonna be able to get this bad boy right here. Absolutely beautiful. This is the SS Cube. Apparently, that's that's all it is for its name, uh, but it's pretty cool. I actually like it. Oddly enough, you are going to notice as I come off of it, this is the one and only boat that doesn't have a cannon. Weird. I mean, I know there's like other boats that don't have cannons, but not really, like it's, it's not common at all, like seriously. And uh, the stats on it, not particularly good. Where is it? SS Cube, there it is. So this is going to end up having 90 movement speed, so it's pretty much the exact same as amount, so there's no reason to ever actually use this thing outside of just, I don't know, being able to sail at a consistent speed, I guess, and then 70 churning rate and 12 acceleration. Yeah, no, get out of here, stupid sea of regret. Burk. All right, crafting this thing though, yikes. Let me, let me just tell you right here, guys, this is, this is a pretty expensive thing to craft. Whoopsie daisy, wrong table. Uh, it is a premium, which is nice, because it does actually double as coming with, where, where was that? This sail right here. So you are going to end up getting 110 mastery for this, which is pretty good, honestly speaking. Like most of the boats are actually really, really good for mastery. But even for me, this was a lot of blocks. It shouldn't be that difficult to get. It's just time consuming, right? So, I, you know, you can end up doing multiple different ways of actually getting these blocks. You can use bombs. You can use your tank turtle. You can use a laser shark. Well, maybe you don't want to use the laser shark, but you just pretty much end up going to the appropriate biome that's going to end up giving you each of these blocks. Green, you're going to be able to get from novice worlds uh, or just medieval highlands. The trees themselves give you tons and tons of green blocks. Don't bomb the ground because then you're going to hit the dirt and that's going to end up giving you other blocks and you want to try and maximize the amount of blocks that you can grind. You can see even right here with my primal greens, I use so many of my primal greens that I'm not even, I don't even have a stack left. <laughs> like seriously, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then blue blocks you just go and find in the glacial biome uh, All you got to do for that one is it's actually the surface of the ground is going to end up being gray blocks But then underground is going to end up being kind of slippery ice blocks That's what you're looking for that's going to end up giving you primal blue and then for primal red uh, Oddly enough you actually use the desert uh, and you end up going to find those gigantic like uh, canyon styled rocks that you're gonna be able to find out in the world. I'll insert some footage of it, but you just bomb those things and every single one of those blocks is gonna be primal red. So it's not difficult, it just is very, very time consuming. But then on top of that, 150,000 flux and 20 chaos cores. So it's definitely one of the most expensive, like actual items, just because of the fact that it actually wants this many primal blocks. But that said, at least it's something that's kind of approachable for most people. I mean, granted, if you're like a new player and you can't actually afford bombs or don't have the tank turtle, it's gonna take like the rest of your natural life to actually get 49,000, should I say 50,000 of each different prime block right here. But, you know, is it worth 110 mastery? Sure, why not? <laughs> Anyways, though, folks, thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Sign aura and stay epic.